Let's talk a little bit more about other compensation methods. You know, pay is always a hot topic and kind of what feels like a hang up in this industry. What are some ways that you're addressing pay and also finding other ways that are meaningful to compensate your caregivers? So on at least a yearly basis, we send out a compensation survey and we do that through a Google form and we just kind of get their feedback. What's important to you? Is it dental? Is it health insurance? Is it bonuses? Is it hourly pay? Like what is important to our staff? Cause we want to hear directly from them. We don't want to make any assumptions. So what we do is we do ongoing bonuses. So our staff can get, if you're a full-time employee up to $800 a year in additional compensation through our bonus program. And that's where we really reward people for going above and beyond the call of duty. And we just, we have clear parameters that we set at orientation and, and how you earn those bonuses. Um, and then we give out those bonuses during those 90 day reviews. Okay. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how you award those bonuses? You know, what are some of the criteria or things that you do that you award? So coming from a corporate um, setting, they were always very nervous about bonuses because they wanted to make sure they were fair and that you could, you know, accurately document things. So we had that in the back of our mind as we developed this compensation or this bonus program, but we also wanted to get creative and we wanted to really think about what is important to us as an agency? Like, what do we need from our staff to operate a really great agency and make sure that our care, our clients are well cared for? So we look at five categories. We look at attendance, because it's important that people are reliable and show up to work and that we can count on them. We look at client satisfaction. So making sure our client's needs are taken care of. And we use clear care so we can easily tag anytime a client calls in or another coworker calls in and says, hey, this caregiver is doing a great job. We can easily make a note in their profile and tag a compliment to it. We look at making sure they're compliant with our policies and procedures. So have no corrective actions in the look back period. We look at job performance. So we look at their last supervisory visit and how well they scored it on that, but also look at whether or not they've completed their online learning in a timely fashion and gotten us important documents like driver's license and car insurance and things like that in a timely manner. Um, and then we look at teamwork. You know, Are they flexible with their schedule? Do they pick up shifts last minute? Do they help us out um, or help their team members out when other people need to need time off? So we look at all of that. A lot of it's just tags and notes that we make in clear care to document that. Um, and then if you work, you know, five hours a week, your bonus is going to be a little bit less than if maybe you work 40. So if you're a 40 full-time caregiver, you meet all five categories, you're going to get a $200 bonus every 90 days. Whereas if you work five hours and you meet all five categories, um, your bonus might be $50. So we kind of tear it down based on number of hours and how many categories they meet. Yeah, I love that. Thanks for breaking that down in such detail and mentioning clear care is, as how you track that. You know, I think, like you said, people shy away from the legwork that's going to go into building it and then maintaining it. But like you've said, you know, you just rise to the occasion and figure it out, map it out with your office staff team, and then hold people accountable and make sure it's a part of that 90 day review so that you're maintaining that that bonus recognition.